Good morning. Today I'm going to share my morning skincare routine and we're going to see how much it costs me. I don't know what the total is. I do know at my yearly total and I'm going to, when I'm done with this, I'm going to divide it and see how much it costs per day. I find it to be relatively inexpensive. Some people would think it's expensive. Some people would think it is, it's not, but it's what I've been doing and it's what I've been doing for a long time. And it has really helped keep my skin as healthy as it can be and, and to feel as good as it does. So this is just what I do in the morning. The first thing I do I, when I get up and I go to the bathroom, I'll get a cheap, washcloth. That's all I buy is cheap washcloths. In fact, in one of my very first videos, oh, eight or nine years ago, when I talked about cheap washcloths, I said, you take a cheap, damp washcloth. And you wouldn't believe how many people thought I said a cheap, damn washcloth. But anyway, the cheaper, the better. I like the nubbiness. And what I do, I get warm water. I squeeze the washcloth out and then I just put it on my face and I just pat, and I just pat, and then I just start slowly exfoliating. And I don't bleach my washcloths, I don't. Uh, I found that bleached washcloths aggravate my skin. So, I mean, they get stained. I try to wash them out as soon as I'm done with them, but I, I do get stains on them. But anyway, I, I go all over my skin, and I exfoliate, and then I take my finger, and I do it all over my lips and just go around and around and around. I used to, after I washed my face, the first thing I did was put on Miracle Water it from It Cosmetics, and they've quit making that. I do have a bottle. I'm using it in the evening because I purchased some other essence type toners, and I wanna see which one works the best because, I, because I'm just really curious. I wanna see what it was in that It Cosmetics Miracle Water that I like so well and see if anybody else is doing the same thing. And while my skin is still damp, I use the Skin Diva Argerline. It has Matrixyl 3000 and Hyaluronic Acid and it's 20% Argerline. I first heard about this from Natalie the Beauty Diva and I think it was at least eight years ago. And what I do, I just use one drop. I put one drop right in the palm of my hand and I just pat it on the areas that really need it. I did a video really early on and I just did this area right here and I had a really a pretty deep crease and it definitely improved it. But I mean, it's surprising how far one drop of anything will go. And this will last me two years. I dated, it was November 28, 2021. And every time I use it, I smell it and, and it smells fine. And, but these are just, I, but I don't want you doing what I do. I'm just sharing with you what I do because it's what works for me. And then the next step is I go into the kitchen and I keep my vitamin C serum in the refrigerator all the time. Right now, what I'm using is from Skin Diva, and it is their 20% uh, vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid. And when I looked up the ingredients in this and the ingredients in Timeless, they were exact, and they work exactly alike. I store it in the refrigerator in this little box, and sometimes when I take it out of the box, I'll just kind of open it drop it back in, put it on the counter, and then I'll drop one, two, three drops on my hand. And I like a dropper, I do. I, I can see if it's still clear, you know, if it's clear, cloudy, or a real pale yellow, it's still fine, but once it starts turning orange, you need to throw it away because it can actually hurt your skin. I took this out of my empties. This is the one from Timeless, and it's a pump, but you can take this off and you can put a dropper if you wanted to. But I, I like both of them a lot, and they do make a difference in my skin. I had to go for like four weeks without using it when I was trying something different in my nighttime routine, and I missed it a lot. I buy all my own skincare because I want to. I don't want people sending me things. But 
Timeless did contact me and they wanted to send me their new vitamin C plus E plus fruit acid, their new bottle, and it is nice. It's back to being glass, and I'm not gonna open it because I'm gonna give this to somebody. Oh, I just think it's beautiful, and I love that it's glass again. And the same, I can take any of my droppers that I have, a good clean one, and take the lid off and unscrew it and put a dropper. Because I, like I said, I do like the droppers. But when you wash a dropper, you wanna take this, that's the glass, and you wanna pop off the rubber, and it's three different parts. And so you wanna wash these and thoroughly let them dry before you put them back together, and they'll last a long time. You just put it last, and then you've got a dropper again. The vitamin C in products, the L-ascorbic acid, it's not as stable as some other vitamin Cs, but if you refrigerate it, I have never had to throw it away. Uh, I, on the Timeless website, it can last up to six months in the refrigerator. But see, what I do is I go into the kitchen, get it out of my refrigerator, put it on my face, and put it back in the refrigerator, and I have a cup of coffee. So I, because I do like to let my vitamin C soak in just a bit. So now I go into my dressing room. What I do, I mix my Timeless Matrixel 3000, and that's in a glass bottle. And I use my hyaluronic acid, and I, I, I put it, I can't find it right now, but I will, because I mix them and I put them in this big jar that's I clean every time it's empty, and I just have on it half and half. It's half hyaluronic acid and half Matrixel 3000. And I just get a dropper of it, and I put it on my face. And again, I just do like, one, two, three, four. And I just pat it on my face. Now I can put this on my neck. I can put it all around because it doesn't bother me at all. But it shouldn't because it's really providing moisture and I just have used it and I really, really like it. I've never read that you can or can't mix them together, but to me it just makes it one step easier. And then I use the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. But I had a couple of these that I purchased. They're really small. These are like five mLs, and I'm using those up first before I order that. And I don't, I think I'm gonna be in the market for a new eye cream. I just dab it under my eyes, and I don't put this on my lids, but I could. I just like the way it feels, I like the way it looks, and I just tap that gently and let it soak in. I'm gonna list everything that I use below, which really isn't that many items. And I do have discount codes or discount links. And if ever you see that like Timeless is on sale for 40% off or 35% off or 40% off, if, if you click on my link and order from that link, I do earn a commission. You don't have to use my $5 off, but if you put in the code that they ask for, I want you to know I do earn a commission. And the same goes with Skin Deep. My last thing is dermatology. I either use the Universal Tinted Moisturizer. It does have an SPF 46, but I like it most for the moisture. And I'm gonna use part on, I'm gonna use this 46 on this side, and then the physical. This is physical and chemical. And the other one is just strictly physical. But I'm just gonna get a tiny amount. And this isn't enough to be considered sunscreen. And just put it on my face. I usually have been dabbing. The older I get, the more I dab because that's what my grandmother told me. Just dab, dab, dab. Now on this side, I'm going to put the physical. And I'll just put it... I mean, that is how tiny that I'm using right now. And sometimes that's all I use. It's a little darker. And I think it has a little bit more coverage. And you can see it leaves a, a nice glow. Like right now, looking here, I can't tell if one has more coverage than the other, but they're both really nice. And that is my morning skincare. I had to go stop and put something on my lips. Since I started with the CPAP, I use these things right here. Maybe if I go like this, you can see it. They're like shaped kind of like an H and it she keeps my mouth shut at night because sometimes that air was coming out my mouth. So I can't put anything on my lips at night to uh, keep them moist. 
I keep something on my lips all the time that I am up, but I always have. And also the mask has caused some redness. It goes away in the day, but it got, it's right here and I have it really well padded. That's just the way it is. And the sun was so bright this morning, I didn't want to wait till this afternoon. Okay, there's two products I'm thinking about using, but I haven't done it yet. I wanted to film this. And I've been thinking about adding the Ordinary Buffet plus Copper Peptides, but I haven't done that yet. And I'm gonna be thinking more how I'm gonna do it, but I kinda of would like to get a little bit of copper. I'm gonna wait on that. And the other thing I ordered, I ordered the Timeless Matrixel Sin 6. Haven't decided if I'm gonna try it or not. I have a friend I can give it to if I don't. I've just used the plain Matrixel 3000. I'm gonna read up more on that. But something I wanted to mention on the boxes, it says the manufacture date. And also on their website, it tells you how long it's good to, for manufacture date. And I believe this is two years. So I have quite some time to decide if I'm gonna try it or not. I just, if it's not broken, I don't want to work on it. But then again, sometimes I want to be a little ahead. I'm not, I'm not sure. But I just thought I'd mention that. But I'm not going to count that in my total. And you all know when I do a skincare video that we're going to be doing a giveaway. So I wanted to mention that. And then now I'm going to go to my cost. I had written down what I had spent this year and what percentage off I got for each thing. Timeless C plus E plus Frulic Acid is $26.95. I use at max three of them a year, but I really don't use that much, but I'm gonna say three a year. And I bought mine for 40% off. So the yearly total for that is $48.51. My hyaluronic acid from Timeless is $11.95, and I probably use, I'm going to say three a year. That's every four months, but I know I use less. Because, see, I really only use two drops a day because I mix it in, those two together, Matrixel and the hyaluronic acid. But anyway, I'm going to say it's $21.51, and the Matrixel 3000 that I've been using is $26.96. So that makes it a yearly cost of $48.53. And this may just bore the heck out of you, but I love stuff like this. The It Under Eye Eye Cream, I know I'm going to change because I think they're probably going to quit making it. It's been on sale. I bought mine six months ago. It was It's $50. One lasts me a whole year. I got it for 30% off, so that was $35. The Dermatology... Uh, tinted moisturizer that's a uh, little over two ounces each and I bought one of each and I use two a year I probably should use a whole lot more you know I just do what works for me so they're $28 a bottle I've got mine for 25% off and and it, so that makes it $42 I'm gonna add these up with my calculator okay that's a total of $208.65. I divided that by 12. That is $17.39 a month, which makes it 57 cents a day. So I think I'm worth 57 cents a day. And sometimes I can even get better sales on what I'm using. Something I wanted to mention, I have never had a problem if sometimes, like if I'm doing an Amazon order, I might throw in hyaluronic acid. I've never had any problems with anything that I've ordered from Amazon when it comes to skincare because I mean, that's like $11.95. That's probably $9 on Amazon. I'm not really sure. I don't think people go out and dupe inexpensive products. If it was like SkinCeuticals or one of the really expensive brands, I would be afraid to buy it. But and I don't know about the vitamin C. I don't know if you order from Amazon, if it has the date on it. I don't know, but I do everything by mail. I do everything online and and it and that's what I like. Some time ago, I contacted Timeless and asked them if they would provide gifts to my viewers for a giveaway. And that's when she asked me if I'd accept that bottle. And I said, yeah, I'll accept it. But anyway, and they agreed. Right now, I don't think they have it in the gift box because they're changing some things around. But they're going to give five people 
five items that I use from Timeless. And I'll tell you what it is. And they're all the regular size, the one ounce or whatever the normal size is. The Timeless Vitamin C plus E plus Ferulic Acid, that's 20%. They also have a 10%. And if somebody wanted to try the 10%, I bet they'd change that up for you. The Hyaluronic Acid, the Matrixel 3000, Timeless Hydrating Eye Cream, I use that at night, and the Squalane. It's a uh, derived, I think, from oil. If I get a, pot, a spot that's kind of angry, that's when I will dab it on. I don't use the Kakai oil for that because that is more irritating. It is more active. The squalane is very soothing and it's a, it's just a good oil. Since this is a giveaway, I cannot reply to comments. Go to any other video I've ever made and ask me anything you want and I will get back to you. But I put all these comments in random comment picker and I, I just can't reply. You have to be 18 years old or older. That is the only thing you have to be to be in one of my giveaways. But you have to leave a sentence below. And in the comment that you leave below this video, I'd really kind of like to know if you think 57 cents is too much, if you think it is okay. I'd kind of like to know your thoughts on that, but you don't have to do that. Just use the word happy in your sentence, and that way I know that you want to be in my giveaway. It is all good. I am uh, always so pleased when you show up, when you leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, or just share your time, because that's the most valuable thing you can do, and I appreciate it so much. I will see you in my next video, and that's when I'll announce the winners, and you take care. I did not. Okay, the way it, what I do, because of my mask, I can't, well, I'll have to check it out. And that is the end of my son, that, <laughs> because that, I don't know, I shouldn't say that.